So in this video, I want to go over how you can attempt CIS 30A Project Costa Rica um, study abroad. Um, so I started playing with the graphical user interface, which is the requirement for the project. Um, and so I just want to show you my example of the project. And this is the example one. I might come up with other example to show you. So I will record the video to do that. Okay. Um, first, we are going to take a look at our code. So let me turn on the caption. So in um, in this program, I, in what my intention for this program is like this. Um, my pseudocode is when I start the program, it's going to open the, the window, which is the graphical user interface. Um, that's going to be the root window. It's gonna, on the window. I'm going to have the title. Um, I actually modified this. So it is the sunset picture of Costa Rica. And I want to display three buttons um, and some instruction on how to use those buttons. So I also have display uh, label containing button instructions. And so when the user click the button, uh, button one is going to show a bird, button two is going to show a monkey, and button three is going to show a turtle. And with that, I need to define a function to be able to open the image file for bird, monkey, and turtle. And ultimately, it's also going to show a thank you message um, at the beginning. Okay. And this is the procedure for my program. Um, here's my program. I need to use TK enter. So I import it in as TK. And when you work with image that is not GIF, it is better that you use PIL. Um, so this is gonna allow you to um, utilize different um, type of file as images. And also because I'm using message box, so I'm gonna import in message box from TK enter. Um, you can use the wildcard, but I wanna use specific. And then um, I again have an image, so that's just double. So I created a root window. Um, and with that, I need to create frame. It is best that we utilize the frame and pack the frame in order to add the widget components to the actual window. So we would use the frame. I have a function and this function is gonna be called when I click a button. So it's gonna be show image. And my image is defined as just an image file. So it needs to pull from image TK and it is a photo image. Now, just to note, all your images needs to be in the same area as the script. We talked about this yesterday um, or in the last session. And what I did was I actually used screen um, a screen capture or I basically use clip to be able to save my image, but you can also download the image and save it as a PNG. Um, so in this project, I save everything as PNG. Um, that works the best, okay? So a way that you can do that is you can open up an image, for example, like this, you can do file save as and make sure it's PNG, but it's gonna save the whole property. What I did was I clip it, I made it smaller. So that way it is gonna show in a smaller uh, size on the label. So after I have the image and image box defined, I would also create the geometry of my root window and its title. Um, I also want to add an image onto the window itself. So that's gonna be my sunset picture. And then in order to add the photo onto the window, you need to put it on top of a label. So here I create the first label, the second label and the third label. And this label is gonna hold my um, 
my sunset image on the right hand side. On the left label, it's going to add some instruction um, for my picture. So if they click the button, it's going to show the picture. And my second label is going to hold the picture that is going to be shown by clicking the button. Then I have a button for quit at the top. So that way it's going to close the entire window at the end um, if they want to quit. And then on the bottom, I have three buttons, button one, button two, and button three. And the first button, when the user click it, it's labeled as burn. So that's going to allow the system to open up the bird image. The second button is going to be for the monkey. And the third button is going to be for um, the turtle. And you notice that when I use the place command, this is going to be the X and Y coordinate where the button is going to be positioned on my window. So it took me a little bit to kind of make the adjustment with this to kind of play with it. And also, we're not using low level commands. So we're going to use Lambda. That's like just a placeholder. And then we are going to use, we're going to call the function. And the function is going to call. The, the function is get, we are going to pass the actual file um, into the function so that way it's going to open up the file. So at the end, um, I have some message box. This is going to actually show first because it's going to oh, it's going to be the priority task. And then I need to close it out with the main loop. Okay. So when I run this, Okay, in order to show you a little better, I'm going to expand it. So it's going to look like this. And this is just a very rough draft, mind you. So I can clean this up a little more. So once I click OK, then it tells me click a button to see pictures of the animals. So when I click the bird, it's going to show the parrot or the macaw. This is what we saw in Costa Rica when we did the study abroad. Um, when I click a button, this is going to show the monkey. When I click a button, it's going to show the turtle. And you do see the beautiful sunset from Palo Verde on the right. And then when the user needs to quit, they simply click, click quit and it ends the program. So I just want to demo and show you how my program was created. This is only one variation of the project. Um, you can do so much more with this um, and improve it, but I just want to show you. Thank you for watching the video. This is CIS 30A project example using GUI in Python.